You wanna kick that nasty habit to the curb? Come on. How much of our life is consumed by habitual behavior? Well, consider that a 2006 Duke University study called Habits, a Repeat Performance, found that up to 45% of our daily decisions are actually just habits. We think we're in control, but we're not. For instance, if you commute, do you remember every maneuver of how you got to work or did you zombie-like pull into a parking space? I thought so. Because let's face it, if we didn't have the ability to go on autopilot, our brains would be in tatters chasing after the minutiae of life. But what about a habit that's become nefarious? How do you change it? The idea of the habit loop from author Charles Duhigg is that a true blue habit is a loop made of three things. A cue to begin the behavior, the behavior itself, and the reward. If you want to break a bad habit, you must gain these three things. You must mess with them until you've created a parallel habit, detouring your brain from the crusty old bad habit to the shiny, happy new one. So when you get that cue or trigger, say it's late in the day, you feel drowsy, you reach for something caffeinated, this is when you disrupt the action and you replace it with another one, one that will also seem like a reward to your brain. Maybe you take a walk or you talk to a friend. You also need a decent amount of self-control control on tap, something you can actually increase your pool of. According to a 2000 meta study of self-control by Mark Moraven and Roy F. Baumeister, willpower and self-control do get stronger with use. In addition, Australian researchers Megan Oten and Ken Chang put a group of people through a customized two-month exercise program. The net is that besides becoming more fit and losing weight, the group was able to decrease their error rate on a visual task that measured willpower via distraction and thought suppression. But here's the truly impressive part, just the act of exercising increased self-control in other parts of their lives. There was a massive self-reported decrease in bad behavior and a huge boost in good behavior, like going from smoking 14 cigarettes a day to just three. By the by, psychologists from the University of Twente in the Netherlands have linked bladder control to the same parts of the brain that activates feelings of desire and reward. So if you have an urge to say smoke, you can better avoid the temptation if you have a full bladder. I'm going to try this trick the next time I see a stroke right shirt and I want to buy it. What about you guys? What's the bad habit that you want to cross off your list? Let us know in the comments below. Oh hey, and if you want to create a really good habit, head on over to stufftoblowyourmind.com where you can find blogs, more videos, and podcasts.